Hi foodies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite soups, Manish Water. So this is one of our favorite soups to have at special events in Jamaica. So parties, street dances, weddings, any function you can think of, this is often served as an appetizer. So I'm going to be making some to drink for dinner or to eat for dinner. So it is going to be not as thin as I'm used to when I go to an event. It's usually served in just a little cup. So let's get into this delicious goat soup, a.k.a. Manish water. So guys, I am using different types of meats today. Even though we call it goat head soup, usually we add other things. So we have the goat leg and aside from the leg, we have the goat tripe. I love the honeycomb um, tripe. So this is nicely cleaned already and you're going to want to cut up the meat in chunks. You can cut it small if you want to, but chunks is fine. And here we have pieces of goat head. So all of this is going to give it a really delicious flavor. So what I'm going to be doing guys is I'm going to put all of this in my instant pot on the pressure cooker setting just to get things started, just to get it to cook faster. So what I'm doing now guys is I'm going to make some dumplings for the soup. We like to put spinners in our soups and stews so spinners are just flour dumplings that are skinny you know really tiny and i will leave a link in the description to my dumpling video so i'm just gonna make the dough and set it aside till i'm ready because we're not gonna put it into the pot for now Usually if I'm making chicken soup or beef soup, we like to have a lot of pumpkin and carrot. But Manish water is not that type of soup that you want to be bright yellow or bright orange. So I'm just going to cut up two large carrots and I'm not using any pumpkin this time. So with this chocho guys, all I'm going to do is peel it, then cut it in half, take out the core and then cut it in chunks just the same as the, as the carrot. Green bananas, that's one of the things we love to add to Manish water. And we don't peel the bananas. Well, some people do, but I actually like to cook it with the skin. And then we have yellow yam. So this is not the American type that has an orange color. It's yellow yam. And you're just going to peel this the same way you would a pineapple and then cut it into um, some pieces. We do like to add 
starchy foods to our soups guys because it helps to make the soup even more filling but not only that it helps to thicken the soup as well I do like to use this for flavor it's really good it's basically dehydrated goat soup so you're gonna get some granules in this pack if you purchase it it does come with noodles in it though guys and I don't like them so I always use a strainer to separate the noodles from the actual seasoning when you're adding this to your soup you have two choices you could either just add it the way I'm going to do it just add the seasoning directly or you could dissolve this in some water and strain out the granules and just add the flavored liquid to your soup sometimes I add a beef bouillon maybe just half and then the chicken noodle soup mix, I love this because it doesn't overpower the goat flavor. It just gives it a nice seasoning. And I do remove the noodles from that as well. So we can't leave out our fresh seasonings. So we have some scallion and thyme and scotch bonnet pepper and pimento grains. You can use the back of your knife to just bruise the scallion just to release more of the flavor. That's optional, of course. So you're going to put a big enough pot on the stove and add all this cooked meat. And um, remember, I did um, start off the cooking process in the instant pot, the pressure cooker setting. So put all of that in your pot and you want to add enough water so that it's like at least five inches above the meat because you're going to be adding these. That's the yellow yam. I diced it. And then we have the green bananas I cut in cross, um, I cut crosswise and the cocoa just diced, just cut in chunks. I had a small potato so I decided just to add that too, just cut it into cubes. So the liquid and the meat, everything is in a pot brought to a boil. Then you're going to add all of these um, starchy food and vegetables and once the yam and the cocoa are like halfway cooked or three quarters um, of the way cooked then you can add the spinners all you're going to be doing is pinching off little pieces and rolling them between your palms just to create this long skinny shape Now it's time to add all those wonderful seasonings to your pot. And there you go guys, delicious manish water, aka goat soup, aka goat head soup. It's really delicious. The goat flavor is really pungent and then the scotch bonnet just goes so well with that. Really easy to make, really simple. So give it a try and let me know how you like it. And I know that a lot of Jamaicans actually put white rum in their goat soup. So let me know if you put white rum in yours. And 
Let me know if there's any other ingredients that you add whenever you're making yours. So till next time, take care, guys. Thank you.